All right, well, we have a beautiful J3 here today. It's a 1938 with a C85. And man, do I love a J3. I rode over with Bob in his FX3 carbon cup. So I thought, man, we should do a comparison. Now the FX3 is quite the Cub Crafters Cub. We're actually right here by Yakima right now. And this baby's a performer. Bob's had it for about a year now. Um, well, let's just start here. So Cub Crafters did a really good job with this door. Um, on, our, on the other Cub, you'll see it's like a 45 degree, comes way back here. The door is up higher, a little bit harder to get in. Um, they just made this opening a little bigger on the Cub Crafters. And then, you know, not much for avionics. You know, just old garbage. You know, G3X, carbon fiber, 650. Um, one thing I really love that they did was they put the flaps up, which is pretty nice to get to. Anyways, most everyone knows Cub Crafters. They did the CNC machine stuff. Um, just absolute beautiful everything on them. I mean, fantastic airplane. Um, hangers are all CNC. Cables are still exactly the same as 1938. Um, aileron design was a little bit different and all metal again. Um, just kind of that bigger uh, trailing edge, probably just so they could bend the metal. I don't know. Um, I believe it's the same wing, real similar jack screw, it's just electric. Um, this being a Super Cub, it has a counterbalance, of course. But look at this 1938. Same wing, same bow, I'm, I'm guessing probably the same um, cord I actually don't know that everything's fabric same cable <laughs> belkin or yeah um, no flaps obviously on a j3 but look at the panel I mean now we're talking now we're really talking about a real panel on an airplane with a fuel tank in your lap you know you gotta have that, and real brakes. Now this J3 has the stock four inch wheels. So you can't probably can't really call them brakes. Um, the trim, that's probably the best thing about the Carbon Cub is having that electric trim. Anyways, the J3 has the fuel gauge, piece of welding rod on a float, mags, and a little tiny baggage. Uh, this J3 is a fancy one. It's got a radio and an intercom. Pretty uptown high class. But man, a J3 just flies nice. And I love that simple panel. All right, we'll go back to the tail. You have basically the same jack screw in the 30s as you do today. But the J3 tail was different um, I don't know that the rudder was much different it was counterbalanced but the elevator on the J3 is a little bit heavy because you don't have um, this counterbalance or a spring in the fuselage I think the PA 11 had a spring in the fuselage that helped a little bit but man what a beautiful J3 um, struts are a lot smaller I don't remember the weight and balance on this J3, but I think it was oh, 800 and something. And I think that's 1200. Anyways, pretty cool to have them sitting here and get to fly them both in the same day. That's pretty special because I love Cubs. I don't know if there's anything really that I flies better. Alright, I should um, figure out how to do better videos.